before we review the connections from the back of the case, let's orient ourselves. This is the front of the case. And this is the back of the CPU on the motherboard. And then bottom right is where we installed our power supply unit. The bundle of cables on the top right is the 8-pin CPU power cables that went to the motherboard. The bundle of cables center left is the 24-pin motherboard power cables. As I mentioned in the previous video, I moved the SSD from the front of the case to the back of the case. This is the SSD SATA data cable, which attaches directly to the motherboard. To the left of it is the SATA power cable, which routes directly to the PSU. Center left is a bundle of the pre-wired case cables. They attach to the motherboard at various points. They are tagged with labels so you know where to connect them. Bottom center is the USB 2.0 extension block. I added this to accommodate the need for three USB 2.0 connections instead of only one available on the motherboard. The connections look more intimidating than they really are. There were a total of nine connections to the motherboard plus the SATA power for the smart hub and SSD drive for a total of 11 connections to finish the build. To keep this manageable, use the channels and the Velcro tie downs on the back plane. Well this finishes the assembly phase of our system, now it's time to test it. <laughs>